What's up guys, today we are gonna be doing the benchmark test after the iOS 16 between the iPhone 10, 10R, 10S, 10S Max, 11, 12 and iPhone 11 Pro. We have different chipsets from A12 Bionic to A14 Bionic. But before starting the test, let me just confirm the update. As you can see, all of them are having the iOS 16. It should be clear to everyone. So without wasting any time, let's start the N22 benchmark test and let's see which phone is gonna get high benchmark scores. Here we go.
welcome back so this was all about the n22 benchmark scores between some of the iphone models and as you can see we have installed the same version on all of them now as you can see between the iphone 10 10r and 10s the 10s has got highest scores which is slightly powerful compared to iphone 10R because of updated chip between the 10s max and 11 the iphone 11 score is a little bit higher because of its gpu score but the rest numbers are almost the same as you can see so i will give credit to the 10s max instead of iphone 11 and if we look at the scores of iphone 11 12 and 11 pro so it can be seen here the iphone 11 has got higher scores compared to iphone 11 pro yes you hear that right the iphone 11 score is higher compared to 11 pro but we have the winner of this test that is the iphone 12 which has more than 500k scores because of a 14 bionic chip which is the most powerful one here so this was all about the n22 score test after the ios 16 let me know if you guys have any questions in your mind. I will help you to answer all your questions. Just don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.